This dramatic landscape in the arid desert of the South African Karoo is one of the world's most threatened plant habitats. It's called the succulent Karoo biome. Forty percent of the over 5,000 plant species found here occur nowhere else on Earth. Guy Midgley believes plants are the first crucial link between solar energy and life on Earth. Our models are suggesting that uh, the succulent Karoo biome faces a warming and drying which is sufficient within about 50 years to potentially cause the extinction of a large number of, of succulent species. Succulents, or plants that have adapted to dry climates by storing water in their leaves, are right at home here in the Karoo. In fact, this place features the richest variety of succulent flora on the planet. But these plants are in grave danger of extinction. It's predicted that this area of South Africa will experience the worst impacts of climate change in coming years. It's not only getting hotter here, but drier too. These large succulents, known as quiver trees, are dying. As you can see, even this plant, even though it is such a large plant, it has such a massive amount of water stored in its stem. And what's particularly worrying is that this individual is even aborting its flowers. So this is a sign of extreme water stress. If the succulents die out, the soil will erode and the entire area would turn into a wasteland of sand. And the plants that are lost will never come back. Professor Bruce Hewitson works with the Climate Systems Analysis Group at the University of Cape Town. They're trying to better predict how temperature increases will affect not only plants, but society. Society tends to build its infrastructure around the climate normal. That means you de develop your water delivery infrastructure, you develop your health system, you develop your stormwater capacity. All those sorts of issues are developed around the climate normal. But our idea of a normal climate is about to become much more extreme. As temperatures rise, Professor Hewitson believes there will also be more crop diseases, soil erosion, and human diseases like malaria. Some agricultural regions will no longer be able to support the farmers who live there. The heat is on and the clock is ticking. What's going on now in the succulent Karoo biome could well foreshadow what may happen in the rest of the world.